Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of one of my most popular books, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. For these videos, I love to answer the questions that you all send me via email. So if you have any questions that you would like for me to answer, check out the description box below for more information. So now we're going to get back to this video and this video is because of an email that I received from Rwanda. Rwanda emailed me saying, how can I get long hair really fast and how can I minimize all forms of damage and breakage so that I can achieve my goals? So Rwanda, I know you want to have long hair and you will get there with some of the tips that I'm going to explain to you and also different ways to keep in mind about the way that you can go about achieving long hair. So first, I just want to state that there is plus and minuses on both sides of the fence when we are talking about natural hair and when we're talking about chemically relaxed hair. Now with both sides of the fence that you choose to be on with your hair, you will gain long hair and if you're doing everything correctly, you will gain it at a speed that should be average for hair growth, which is half an inch a month, if you're doing everything that you possibly can to keep your hair healthy. And like I always preach, you gotta keep up with your trims, you gotta protect the style, and you gotta keep your hair moisturized and protein treat it if necessary. Now, if you have chemically relaxed hair, there's also the disadvantage of the fact that relaxers actually break down the structure of your hair. It forces your hair to be permanently straightened and in the process you also lose protein. That's why protein treatments are a big deal for you to maintain healthy relaxed hair because that's what's being stripped and broken down when you are having a chemical process to relax it. Now, on the other hand, natural hair doesn't have that breakdown of protein, but if you have fine hair or if you go through a lot of styling and heat and things like that, you will need more protein to keep your hair healthy. But natural hair, on the other hand, tends to be a little bit more drying and harder to hold moisture. That's why moisture is a big thing when keeping hair healthy, especially if your hair is natural. So I am not making this video about natural versus team relaxed because that's not what it's about because both sides or wherever you stand, you want to have long and healthy hair. And maybe even some individuals don't want long hair. Some people just want healthy hair, even if it's at collarbone length or even if it's at neck length or something. So the thing is, is that you will grow long hair at an average rate typically if you're doing everything you can to keep it healthy. So if you want to learn more, check out the resources that I have down below on books that I've done on how to keep both types of these hair healthy. If you want to know how to develop a regimen, you want to know how to trim your hair, how to uh, keep it moisturized or protein treat, treat it, and so much more. So the biggest go home point is that if you want to maintain and grow long healthy hair, you got to incorporate those simple key elements, whether you are natural or whether you are relaxed. And also, if you don't want to be um, dealing with your hair in a uh, looser state, whether it's going to be natural or relaxed, one of the greatest ways to actually grow your hair long and possibly never even have issues with shedding or breakage ever is if you take the lock journey. So if you choose to lock your hair, it's gonna get there, trust me. You don't have to worry about trimming your split ends, you don't have to worry about doing much of protective styling and things like that because your hair is constantly going to mat up and continue to grow. If that's even the choice that you wanna take because you really want long hair no matter what. So maybe locks is for you or maybe you just need to pick which you would like to be whether it's to have natural hair or relaxed hair and then incorporate those regimens so that way you can achieve your goals. So I hope this is put into perspective that there's no secret way, there's no secret product. In order to have long, healthy hair, you gotta incorporate those simple, basic key elements of a regimen to get there. So thanks, and I also want to thank you all for watching. And um, also, before any of you go, make sure to sign up for my email list so that way you can receive exclusive content from me. And also, when you enter, you will be entered into giveaways that I do. So until then, I will see you all in my very next video.